Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to work on three most used structural profiles. There are different parts that we can use these profiles for. For example, in combs, in framing like beam and braces, we can use them for truss and even in stairs. We can even combine them. For example, we can use for L section or to U section. I created this tutorial in profile family. It's because this is general and if you want to create combs or beams or different things, you can use this technique for all of them. So let's start with eye profile. This section has different names. It might be eye profile, edge profile, or white flange profile. Create new family and select profile. First of all, set your unit. So there are three main steps to create a profile. First is reference line, which we are going to use it for controlling our profile lines. Then we need to use dimension to control them, to control their dimension, which we are going to turn them into parameters. And after that, we are going to use this line here to create and draw our profile. So let's start with reference line. We need a reference line here and here, which we are going to create our body in this area. We need another one here and here to control the thickness of these areas. And we need another one here and here to control the thickness of its body. Now that we are done with our reference lines, we are going to use dimensions to control them. For this area, we need to make this and this part equal. So click on align, click here and the center align and here and click this EQ to make them equal. Now create another one here and turn this into dimension. Let's call it A. Select align again and make these two areas equal as well and create parameter for this area too. Let's call it B. You can either create different thicknesses or create one and use for both this area and this area. So again, click on align and create one here and another one here. Select them and create a parameter for them. See. Now, we need other reference lines for this area and this area. This is for controlling this part. You can create two parameters for this area and two parameters for this area. Sometimes you need them with different sizes in this part and this part. But for now, we are going to use two reference lines for both of them. Make them equal like this. Create another one for parameter and give it a name. B. Now this is our eye profile. We are going to create our profile in this area. So select your line and create your profile. You can just draw it directly on reference lines. But I'm going to create them like this and then I will lock them just to make sure I'm doing this part right because if you don't like them properly it might cause problems in your project now select a line click on your reference line and then your line and then lock it and do this for all of the lines now this is our profile you can also fillet this and these areas and these two corners if you need. You need to just go to create, select line and with this fillet arc here, make these corners fillet. Click on first line and then second line and control its arc. You can also control your arc. Just select your arc and hit this here. Select your annotation and Create a parameter for this. Let's call it fillet. And then create fillets for other corners as well. The 
before we test it in a project, you need to save this and load your family to your project. Here, we are going to test it in Swift. Create new generic model from component and model in place and click on Swift, SketchUp Pass and in here you can select your profile. If you didn't load your profile to your project, you can load it from here. But if you have done this, you can select your profile here. As you can see, our profile is here. Select it and if you go to 3D, you can see your profile here. Hit finish and this is your eye profile. Now to change its size in your project, you need to find it in project browser. Go to your families, find your profile and then find the profile that you created. Right click on it in type properties. You can see all of the dimensions that we created for this. Let's change them. This is our eye or edge profile. Now that we are done with eye profile, let's continue with L section. Create new families in profile. We're going to create our profile in this quadrant. So we need one reference line here, another one here, one here, and another one here. This is where we need to create our profile. Our next step is dimensions. Use align to make dimensions for these two parts. These two are for thickness. You can create parameters for each one of them or you can create one parameter for both. Create parameter and call it thickness. Now we have this area, let's call it length and this area which could be our width. You can create a parameter for this area and this area or you can just create one for each of them. Select align, create one for here and one for this area. Create parameter for this, let's call it length and one for this which we name it. Finally, we are going to create our one. Select your line and create your profile here. Now select align and lock all of your lines with reference plane. You just need to select your reference plane and then select your line and lock it. And just do this for all of the lines. This is our L profile and we can control it here. This is our length, this is our thickness and this is our width and all of them are working. You can also create fillets for this part, this part and this part. For this, go to create, select your line and select this fillet part here. For filleting this corner, you need to select this line and this line and just control your fillet like this. You can even control this fillet. Select it and with this sign here, create a parameter for it. Now just do the same for these two corners. Let's test it in a new project. Create new one. Go to component, model in place and generate model. Create new sweep. Sketch a pass. Now here we can either create a profile with this here or load the profile that we created. You need to load your profile before you create your strip. So go to your family and just load it into this project. If this happens, just click your profile work plane and you can see it here. From here, you can select the family profile that you created your profile is here hit finish and you will have your L profile you can see it here and also here and the final profile which is a U section create new family in profile now there are two different ways that you can create a U section in families you can either go with something like this in this area or you can just create it in this area first we need to draw our references we are going to create our profile in this way 
Now, the rule refers going here and one here. So for thickness, we need one here, one here, and one here. And also, we need one here, which we are going to use for this and this area together. Now, you can clearly see our U profile. The next step is to use dimensions. Select Align and create a dimension from here to here to here. We need to make them equal in this area. Then we are going to create another one for turning it into a parameter. Create new parameter here. Let's call it A and OK. For these two areas, we can either create a thickness parameter for this area or one for this area, or we can just create one thickness parameter for all of these areas. So go to create, select align, create a dimension here, create another one here and another one here. Select them and create new parameter for it. Let's call it thickness. Create another parameter for this. Let's call it B. Now we can create our profile. Select the line and draw your profile here. Okay. Select a line and lock all of your lines with these reference lines. Make sure you're selecting the correct reference line. You can also create a fillet for this area, this area, and these two corners if you want. And you can also turn them into parameters. Before we test this in a new project, we need to save it. Load your family into your project. Then you need to go to component, made in place, select generic model, give it a name if you want. Then go to sweep, create a sketch pass, hit finish, and now you will need to select your profile. We have loaded our profile to this project before, so we can find our profile here. But you can also load your profile with this option, or just simply create your profile with this. Now select your profile. And if you go to 3D view, you can see it here. Hit finish. And this is our profile. To control its dimension, you need to find your profile in project browser. Go to your families and then your profiles. Find the profile that you created. It's your profile. Open it and click in this subcategory. Right click on it and click on try property. Here you can see the dimensions that we created for it. Let's change them. So yes, that's it. I wanted to share this content with you because I think creating these profiles can save a lot of time for us. You will see how useful these profiles are when you want to create complex families. And also the fact that we can control their dimension easily is so important. I really hope it was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them in comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.